about you stabbing Mr. Goodman with a knife? Hmm. Lana, I don't understand. Why won't you tell us? Ema, this doesn't involve just me. I've never seen a look so phased before. BRB food? Nice. Enjoy. It's true, I was a member of the police force two years ago. He was amazing. They still talk about the case she and Chief Gant cracked together. Chief Gant? He was the deputy chief of police back then, but still worked the crime scenes. Damon Gant? He was everything I aspired to be. They were the best team ever. They solved crimes before the reports could even be filed. So Ema really idolizes her big sister. Pretty much only arrest would have you searched, generally. Yeah, that's what I thought as well. But, yeah. In the game, I mean, the protocols in this game for anything are just weird. <laughs> they make up whatever they can for the sake of the plot. You know, like people just running into the court and saying, I have new evidence, and throwing it on the table doesn't actually happen. But now you're the chief prosecutor, what happened? I always planned on becoming a prosecutor. The reason I became a detective was gaining experience investigating crime scenes so you could use that experience in court, right? Gant helped in the SL9 case was crucial to its resolution. After that, he became the chief of police and arranged my transfer to the prosecutor's office. Maybe I should ask more about the investigation of theirs two years ago. Two years ago, I was second in command of the detectives investigating Dark. She was second in command, that meant the investigating lead was Damon Gant, right? Yes, Deputy Chief Gant and I shared the same office, the same investigations. We even had the same office. We led a team to the, of the best detectives on the force. <laughs> a team of the weirdest dressed detectives on the force, I should say. Detective Goodman, whose case um, it was, Jake Marshall and, and, and Angel Starr. It was the first time uh, Marshall worked with his brother. He was quite gung-ho. Really. Yeah, don't say. That run in the family? Without a doubt, Joe Dark was the serial killer. We asked him to come in for questioning. We were desperate for evidence. That was when his uh, final murder took place, when he tried to murder Ema. You had that conversation about Discovery earlier this week? Yeah. Prosecutor Marshall was trying to save me from Dark. See, the first person who happened upon the scene of the crime was me. Now you tell us. Damon Gant and Neil Marshall were the ones questioning Dark that day. The investigation uh, was in its final stages, and Dark must have suddenly panicked. So he waited until Gant and Marshall let their guards down and fled the room. From there he ran straight to the office shared by Deputy Chief and myself. That's where he found me. So you were the first person to run to the scene, Lana? It appears so. I was filing some papers while Gant and Marshall were questioning Dark. When I returned to my office, I saw three bodies on the floor and smelled blood. He stabbed in the back. If you're fighting someone face to face, you generally don't stab people in the back, right? Three bodies. Prosecutor Marshall, the victim, Ema, who had passed out, and the suspect, Joe Dark. During the struggle, it seems Mr. Marshall struck a final blow before he died. Joe Dark had incurred a minor concussion and lay unconscious. I suppose if they were, like, grappling, could have stabbed him. What did you do? To be honest, I panicked. I picked up Ema and carried her out of the room and just held her. Can't blame her after all, her sister must have gone through. After that, I placed uh, Dark in an immediate arrest. Let me get this straight. You were all involved in the SL9 incident. That's right, quite a coincidence, hmm? I don't buy it. What are you saying? There's no way everyone involved in this trial was also involved in that incident, just by chance. But that case was solved two years ago. At least one person went to extremes because they didn't believe it was truly solved. 
Officer Marshall, yes. His actions came as a surprise to me as well. Ever since his brother died, he changed completely. I guess he wasn't convinced with the ruling against Joe Dark. Life doesn't end with the closing of a case. Everyone has to live the rest of their lives with their memories. That case uh, just might not be over yet. Ema was assaulted by uh, Dark at the police department, right? Yes, in front of that Damon uh, Gant... In front of the... Uh, in the office that Damon Gant and I shared. The office that Mr. Gant now occupies by himself. Chief's office. We should have a look at the Chief's office and the site of the final SL9 murder. Did we present anything to her while we're here? Let's see what she says about the files. Anything? Attorneys and prosecutors have no business showing evidence outside of court. It's taboo, especially when the interests of both parties are involved. Okay, right. She doesn't want us to show her anything, then. Fair enough. Let's have a look at... Uh, let's go to Criminal Affairs Department. Maybe we can run into Gumshoe. Nope. I don't see Detective Gumshoe anywhere. Things seem kind of quiet around here today. You're right. The Chief of Detectives seems the same, though. Why don't we go look for some other people to talk to? Right, we can come back here later. Oh, there he is. How are you not in a jail cell? Howdy, Bambina. Oh, Mr. Marshall. Never thought things would turn out this way when I woke up this morning. Hey, Sarah, Sarah, you never know where life will lead you, hey, Bambina? I should have known my luck had run out when old Billy dried up this morning. Old Billy, what? Is that his hip flask? The puppet is creepy, yeah. It wants to drink your blood. <laughs> Billy? Must be his pet cactus. All right, yeah. That's right, didn't he tell us he named the Cactus Billy? I remember that now. Say, where are you headed? Just over to the prosecutor's office for a little interrogation. It's a voluntary appearance, but we all know I won't be coming back. Sorry, but you can't go in the evidence room today, partner. But Mr. Marshall, why did you do it? Why do prosecutors head west? If ever there was a case I need to know the truth, uh, about it, I, it was that one. Before you turn yourself in, Mr. Marshall, would you mind telling us exactly what happened? Hmm. Looks like I won't be getting a steak lunch today. Something was fishy about the trial from the beginning. It wasn't just me, either. All the detectives thought so. What do you mean, fishy? Some of the facts reported were inconsistent with the evidence we found. For example, the murder weapon. Murder weapon? You mean the switchblade knife with the broken tip? That was Joe Dark's, all right. But in the initial autopsy, a question was raised. Let me guess, where's the tip? A question? The blade of the knife was not a perfect match with the wound the victim sustained. What does that mean? It means there's a good chance the knife was not the murder weapon. However, in the report that was finally submitted, the possibility have been erased. Right, could the facts have been concealed with forged evidence, maybe? That case left behind scars for all of us. Scars that the SL9 incident left behind. <laughs> I've got the looks, but he got the brains. He was uh, one of the prosecutors. Oh, he was one of the best prosecutors around. I had just made detective when it went down. It was our first case together. How old was he, your brother? He was 27 at the time. He was awarded with the highest honor that very day. The highest honor? You mean the... the King Prosecutor Award? Uh-huh, yep, we know that one. I still wonder about the broken trophy shield. Especially since earlier on it showed him holding it, and it was complete. 
What are you looking at me like that for? It's an honor of a pro for a prosecutor. Yeah, sure. Mr. Marshall must have really been close with his brother. The day the SL9 incident took place, that wasn't the same day as... That's right. It was the day of the, ev of the evidence transferal. Interesting. Hmm. It was drizzling that morning and by nightfall there was thunder. I can't believe two years have gone by already. I tried to steal the evidence so the case wouldn't die. Apparently someone tried to stop you. Detective Goodman was murdered and the evidence locker was empty. Hmm. There was something going on behind the scenes in that case, we all knew that later. Every detective involved uh, that investigation was saved, uh, save one was taken care of. That's right, yeah, she was let go, and he was also bumped down. This guy, on the other hand, wasn't. So maybe he was also involved, maybe he played ball. Miss Star was fired, and I was demoted, uh, boxed away in a tiny room. And what about Detective Goodman? If they did something to him too, the commissioners uh, would get suspicious. No, they weren't careful enough not to be too obvious. They? Hmm, excuse me, who are you talking about? Don't get upset, Bambina. I mean, Damon Gant and Lana Skye. The investigation led Damon Gant and his second-in-command, Lana Skye. There wasn't a person on the force who hadn't heard of that duo. The case was the biggest step in both their careers. After the case ended, Lana transferred to the prosecutor's office, right? Yep, Damon Gant knew the chief of police and arranged for that to happen. He's never been the same since she left. Everyone who knew her said so. Chief Prosecutor Skye was totally different when she was a detective. Now he mentions it, Ema said something like that too. Tell me, what happened to my sister? Sorry, Bambina, but her secret is too well guarded. I never found out. But Lana's got a secret. It all started two years ago. Well, we know that's gonna be... You know, she forged the evidence. There you have it. That's my story. Did you enjoy it, partner? It was certainly enlightening. There's one thing for sure I found out in court today. That boy Edgeworth isn't my enemy. He was the one who used falsified evidence to get a guilty verdict, but someone else was the one who gave him the evidence and planted everything. That someone is Damon Gant. You don't believe me? Well, I don't blame you. I wouldn't even... Uh, I wouldn't be a patrolman after today. Did he just spit the cap away? Too bad I won't be around to work with you. When you become a real scientific in oh, when you become a real scientific investigator. Adios, Bambina. Hmm. Okay. Well, we can't go into the um, evidence room anymore. We can't even go in the building. Let's go to the parking lot. No one's here today, not even Ms. Star. Yeah, she's not selling her lunches. Everyone's probably busy looking into what uh, exactly went down in the evidence room. That must be where the detectives are. We proved in court today uh, that on the day of the crime, no one was murdered in the evidence room at 5.15. Yeah, I thought we were finally making some headway in our case, but instead it looks like we just ended up making Lana look even more guilty. Hang in there, Lana. Yeah, but they're forgetting we've also proven that Goodman was probably killed in the evidence locker much earlier than that, and not here, which means he only enjoyed a ride in the trunk of that car as a corpse. Hmm. Let's go to Edgeworth's office. Mr. Edgeworth isn't here. Maybe he's being questioned in an inquiry committee. Again. He took a real beating in court today. Yeah, with Lana admitting to falsifying evidence two years ago, 
I guess we'll just have to come back later. Hmm. Okay. Is dumb shoe back? This place is always pretty empty, but today it's deserted. That must mean everybody's busy solving crimes. Oh, if you're looking for the others, they're all in the conference room. Huh? Thanks. Wow, he actually talked to us. With the chief prosecutor uh, saying what she did, and the decision about what to do about Mr. Edgeworth, not to mention our uh, statement to the media tomorrow's trial, there's more chaos going on uh, than Thanksgiving and Christmas put together. I think festive is the word uh, usually used for those. Uh, sir, we'd like to have a look around uh, Chief Gant's office. Just use the connecting hallway and to the other building and take the elevator to the top floor. Really? You mean it's okay for us to go in there? I mean, we aren't police officers or anything. Hey, you're right, you can't go in there, it's off limits. God damn it, Ema! Now I see where Detective Gumshoe gets his unique charm. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's head to the Chief's office. Okay, we'll just ignore that he said we can't go in there, and let's go in there. The hell is this, an office or a church? Interesting. Okay, there's the photo on the wall look. I hope we can get a close-up look at that, because I don't know if that shield is broken there or not. It looks broken now that I think about it. it looks a little different as well. Whoa, where am I? In the Chief's office, silly. At least this is what it said on the door. Check out the pipe organ. It's real, isn't it? Hey, I just used... Uh, I used to take organ lessons in kindergarten. They used to call me Little Miss Bach. Sure they did. Sure they did. I thought I was a genius. Ah! A little out of practice, are we? I couldn't, never could remember where C was. Yeah, that when you're playing any kind of piano-type instrument, that's kind of important to know. <laughs> hmm. Oh, there he is. You summoned the devil. Oh, it's you. Chief Gant. He put the paper he was reading in his desk. Hey, Raito! Have you been swimming lately? Did he ask us that last time? I think he did. Uh, no, I haven't. I've been kind of busy lately. I can appreciate that. I've had my hands full too with Mr. Marshall's misconduct and Lana's provocative statement. Provocative statement? Oh, you mean about the forged evidence? Two years have passed since that incident. My, how time flies. See the big picture on the wall over there? The trophy does not look like that at all. It doesn't have a sword. Hmm. That's a picture of Lana, Neil, and me. Look at this knight. Look at this spear. I found the murder weapon. Yes, I've noticed in the picture as well, the vase. The unique vase. The fact that the, um, the trophy looks different. There's no sword in it now. Although the shield is broken. And then there's this thing here, with a big spear. No medals on Lana either, yes. Although this is still earlier on in her career. Two years have passed, she probably got those from the prosecutor's office. Also, this guy's wearing the same suit, he has no sense of, like, the progression of style. Neither of them do. So this is Mr. Marshall's brother, Prosecutor Neil Marshall. We took it to commemorate our work together. Something's not right with the picture. Can't quite seem to put my finger on it. Okay, Phoenix, we'll catch up with you later. So we've added that to the court record. And this was the office that the actual murder took place in. 
He was murdered here. Anyway, I'd like to reminisce all day, but there are matters that need my attention. I'm going to lock up here, so let's go out together. Oh, but this office. It was the crime scene two years ago, wasn't it? That case has long since been over. There's no need to investigate it anymore. All the same, we'd like to have a quick look around. Perhaps you didn't hear me. Oh, damn, he stopped smiling. I say there's no need to investigate it anymore. Now hurry up and get out. I have a meeting to attend. Hmm. Looks like we aren't welcome. Seems that case isn't over uh, with yet, after all. What do you mean? Chief Gant denied our request to search the crime scene. That means there must be a reason he doesn't want us looking around in there. You mean like a clue? Yes. There's got to be a way we can get inside the Chief's office. Hmm. So, the trophy's different, the vase is in the background, and there's this big spear right here. I think what happened is he got pushed backwards onto the spear, and that stabbed into him, and then the knife was inserted afterwards to make it look like the murder weapon to frame the other guy. He might very well have been innocent all along. Hmm, that might be the, the crucial evidence. Is the plate at the bottom significant? I don't think so. No, we haven't come across any kind of plate. <laughs> it's a nice plate, though. You know, I admit, that's, that's a pretty nice plate. But yeah, I think he was murdered specifically to frame the guy for murdering him. I mean, Ema's testimony is pretty rock solid, though, that she I mean, she has no reason to lie, right? That she did see the guy running in as if he was being chased. And then all the lights went out. How do we know, though, that in that blackness, he wasn't then pushed backwards onto this? And then when all the lights came up, Ema said she passed out. She, she just passed out that instant. Lots could have happened since then. Between that and Lana coming into the room. I think Gant might have come in to because he would have been giving chase, right? He would have been giving chase, so he would have run in after him. Seen the situation. And then in the struggle, I think. Um Marshall got pushed back onto the spear, stabbed and died, fell over. Gant knocked out the other guy with the vase. Bang! Knocked him out with it. I'm, I'm, I'm going deep now. I'm going Sherlock mode. And then he probably took the knife that the suspect had on him and stuck it in the back of um, this guy here, of Marshall. And then was like, look, he killed him, and then he left. Because why would Lana have arrived but not Gant? He was supposed to be questioning uh, Mr. Dark, right? Yes, Ema didn't actually see the death. Exactly, Jolly Octopus. What if the vase fell on Ema? That's a good point, actually. She might have been knocked out that way, but I don't think she said she got hit. She just said she passed out from shock. But yeah. Knowing what happened, you love these theories? Okay. We'll see how right I am. I'm probably way off still. But you've got to build it bit by bit, right? You know, you've got to keep coming up with a new theory and then test it. You always need to have a clear idea of what you think happened. But don't get railroaded by it. Scrutinize every piece of evidence against that theory and see if it fits. That's, that's how I investigate. Alright, so we need to get inside... Gumshoe! Hey, pal! Detective Gumshoe, aren't you supposed to be in a meeting? I'm, uh, just taking a breather. My feet hurt. Yes. Your feet must be exhausted from all that meeting. Yes, from sitting too long? What happened in the movie-style case? Who did it? Um... Oh god, I can't remember now. What did happen? Who done it? We do know that the victim... 
but I don't remember. <laughs> the Steel Samurai one, yeah. Who did it? I can't remember now. We, f we figured it out, obviously, but... Hmm. I don't remember. We know that the victim dressed up as the Steel Samurai after drugging the guy who acted as him, but then go... Um, confront the directors. It was, I think it was the producer. I think she did it, if I remember correctly. It was the producer. She, yes, she pushed him off of the stairs onto the fence that had spikes on it, and he got stabbed through the chest. She then had the, uh, the producer, uh, the director, help her load the body into a cut into the van, or she did it herself. And then they went to stage two, where she then stuffed the body back there, changed him into the evil magistrate costume, and then put the spear, the broken spear, into the into the hole, into the wound, to make it look like he'd been stabbed with that. So that's what happened. Yeah, I remember now. Actually, from uh, serving everyone coffee. Oh no. His feet are tired from serving coffee at the meeting. Sounds like Detective Gumshoe's still out of the loop. Say, have either of you seen Mr. Edgeworth? Edgeworth? No, why? Why do you ask? He's under fire from both the police department and the prosecutor's office. It's almost like the battle's between you in court. That sounds serious. Is it because of what my sister said? That's basically what it all boils down to. That falsified evidence two years ago. Now Mr. Edgeworth has the whole world after his blood. Yikes. But why would Edgeworth be blamed? It's not like he knew the evidence was forged. Lana Skye's the guilty party here, isn't she? Oh, sorry, Ema. <laughs> Regardless, the prosecutor is responsible for the evidence they present in court. Not only that, but as you know, there have been lots of rumours going around about Mr. Edgeworth. His amazing talent as a prosecutor keeps him safe from those who don't like him. Now with this, are there really so many people who hate him? In our world, only those with talent uh, rise to the top. Mr. Edgeworth not only has that, but he's young. There's no better recipe I know of for making enemies. Hey Dick, keep up the good work. Yes sir. Let's go out for lunch again sometime, my treat. Yes sir. You gotta take me back to that joint sometime, okay, Dick? Yes, sir! Seems you don't have any problems with enemies. Yeah, well, I'm careful not to stick out. <laughs> in other words, I'm incompetent and much older. <laughs> anyway, I'm a bit worried about him. Under all this pressure, I'm afraid Mr. Edgeworth just might crack. And then he will kill someone for real. Actually... I took a look at the file earlier, while the coffee was brewing. He seems genuinely concerned for Edgeworth. He really does like Edgeworth, this guy, doesn't he? Well, did you find out anything? The only evidence Dart left behind was during his final attack. His final attack? You mean... When he killed the prosecutor marshal who was trying to protect some girl. Yeah, so Mr. Onionhead supposedly stabbed him in the back. Me. It seems Detective Gumshoe never realised Ema was the girl. That's when he left the most incriminating evidence of all. Well, what was it? Oh, well, uh, let's see. I think it had something to do with the murder weapon? <gasps> it was the murder weapon! Yeah. Oh, I forgot. Look, it's all written here somewhere, okay? Hours of reconciliation never fail to impress. Maybe we should show him the murder weapon. It might jog his memory. No, I think we can, you know. See what he says when we show him this. Was it this he left behind? Um, about this. Hey! Is that... It has a tag attached to it with the label SL9 incident on it. I believe this would be the broken murder weapon you were speaking of. What are you doing with that? Ever since that case was closed, that knife's been locked away in a locker. On the day Detective Goodman was murdered, this suddenly appeared, uh, disappeared from the locker. It was found in Mr. Edgeworth's car muffler, wrapped, nonetheless, in um, Lana Skye's scarf. That's it. Now I remember uh, what the incriminating piece of evidence was. When you showed me that knife, it all came back to me. 
Well, what is it, Detective? Quick, before you forget again. 